Hello everyone, Chud Stugans here, and today we're doing a forfer. McDorfer. Call me a horfer. Actually, don't call me a horfer. So everyone, four mods in a whole series of videos. Steve's somewhere scratching his balls. We're gonna be reviewing some sweet ass mods. Let's get started. First off is the Serbu Super Shorty. This is a shotgun from the Millennia team. This is an awesome custom mesh and texture as usual. Uh, beautiful model, beautiful everything. There's two mods you can put on this. You can put super longy parts, which adds ammo capacity plus three, and you've got the side saddle, which uh, attack damage plus three percent. Pretty cool, fantastic work as always. We're gonna be blowing away people. Next up is the wood cutting axe. This is a pretty sweet melee mod. A uh, custom mesh, maybe not sure, but custom texture definitely. So this is a new addition. To the axe family. Mm, axe man needs this axe. That's right, everyone. Pretty sweet new axe. Uh, we're we'll chopping off places, arms, and places, literal locations. We're gonna. There's gonna be like Disney World. We're gonna chop it off the world. Sorry, Disney World. But yeah, awesome, uh, awesome weapon. Uh, pretty cool texture. Is nice, very nice. I like the scotch tape or duct tape actually. That's on there. Adds a little bit of uh, you know. It's been worn. It's been used. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I think this is the mod author's first weapon too, so pretty nice first try, and I'd like to see some more stuff from this guy, gal, or robot, because uh, pretty sweet. Next up is the retexture of the hockey mask. Uh, brings it to a kind of, uh, uh, what's that game, uh, Army of Two kind of feel, which there actually is a mod for Army of Two masks. I think we might have reviewed it. But either way, this is an awesome mask. Look at that, it's a skull with some teeth. You can see uh, I put the masks on everybody else, so we all got these mean masks. Pretty cool. Um, the resolution for this is fantastic. Definitely an upgrade to the original. Um, doesn't look like the uh, Jason Voorhees one um, anymore, but it does have a unique and different look, and uh, the definite uh, resolution upgrade is a definite boost in my opinion. So cool. And last but not least, our quest slash companion mod, Melissa Watkins. Yes. Melissa Watkins, the solitary and sultry girl in the Brotherhood of Steel bunker. I, I don't think she, she's probably not sultry. What is she, like 16 or something? Yeah, it's probably not the right word. Steve, I don't know where you are, but you, uh, Steve, listen, yeah, I know you're picking pennies up, but we got, okay, whatever. All right, so uh, this is uh, Melissa Watkins' companion, chapters one and two. I'm sure there's going to be a little big adventure. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't checked this baby out. Um, the mod author did say that we could not recruit Janet with Melissa so we will see how this goes and you do need the Makoto Makoto you need the beauty pack I'll put the description in there uh, her hair is a little bright so uh is my light on yeah all right now it's not as bright yay morning. good morning yeah hey everyone it's future me the next part of this review is me looking at vanilla content and thinking it's part of the mod it's not shipped with the original game. Whoops. I'm not here. I was never here. I'm Batman. Hey, how are you? Wow, not the response I was expecting, but okay. Jeez, I'm a, I'm a dickbag. What's with all the computers? You seem kind of nerd? It's our virtual reality training hall. We don't really go out all that often anymore, so this is how we stay sharp. Oh, that's how you watch porn. You said any more before. Did the Brotherhood used to go out more? Yeah, a lot more. Back when we were at the Helio station. Oh, crap. Oh. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to talk about that. Too late. Especially with outsiders. So forget you just heard that, okay? Hey, guess what she just said, everyone? Um, all right. So, uh, voice acting, very, very clear. Um, fantastic uh, quality for the voice acting. Um, the voice, it works. Uh, not flat, not dull. Um, got character, and you know it does match. Uh, not to be a dick, but it does kind of match the blonde hair. It's like a, it's an upbeat voice, so it mat it does match definitely. The hair is a little bright. I'm gonna be making fun of you, Watkins. All right, you bleached your hair. You bleached it. You know, I'm, I'm, I got a beard, ginger, but you know, you know. Let's just let's continue. Wow, not the response. I, okay, you look pissed. Shouldn't you be in school or something, you little kid? Head scribe Taggart quickly realized my extraordinary talent when I took the mandatory VR combat testing. Oui. Soon after oh. that, he requested that I get transferred to VR specialist training. Oui. Oh. 
serving as his assistant. I miss hanging out with the other students all the time. But at least I get to skip all those boring lectures. We are VR virtual reality. Sorry, um, you look pissed. Tell me about yourself. Well, like just about everyone else here, I grew up in the Brotherhood. My father was a scribe and my mother a paladin. Ooh. Are your parents here somewhere, or are they dead? Batman. They both died at Helios 1. Boom. The others were always like a family to me before that. But afterward, they became my family in truth. Can I dress you up as Batman? Sorry. Uh, wow, not the response I was expecting, but what is this in relation to? Uh, let's do, let's just do it. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck balls. Melissa Watkins has given you the stark raving mad perk. Oh, shit. Time to make him pay. That's what I'd sound like. Hey, let's talk. Yeah? I think we missed a large chunk. Oh, fuck balls. Hot dogs and a handbag. Later. All right, Watkins. All right, quick fix. We're back here. You look pissed. And my pit boy's on, so your face is glowing like a meteor. There's a lot of scumbags out there that need killing, but the fucking Brotherhood won't lift a fucking finger to do a goddamn thing. What do you have, some kind of list? Like a bucket list? <gasps> oh, can I be Morgan Freeman and you can be, um, uh, uh, Jack, you be Jack Nicholson, I'm Morgan Freeman. Um, uh, I'd like to do race cars. That's my Morgan Freeman. Why, yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Do you want to come with me? Perhaps I can help you shorten that list. Hell yeah, if I don't get out of there and make something bleed, I'm gonna go over the fucking cliff. Wow, not the response I was expecting, but okay, there we go. Time to make him pay. Virtual reality V. Ah, we ah, we ah, we ah. Virtual Boy. reality. Sorry, alright, let's go. Hey, do you want, you want a sweet mask? Let's see if we have a sweet mask. Oh. Oh, crap. Well, I only got one sweet mask, and I'm keeping it. See, we'll all look at your face. This is Janet. This is Janet. We gotta do introductions. Groovatron, shut up. Stop asking. Stop asking me! Alright, okay, okay. Watkins, what's your first name? Melissa. Okay, that's a nice, that's a nice first name. Melissa. Um, Des, Cuddles. Cuddles, don't you be hiding. Come out here. There you go. You look at her. Alright, whatever, who cares. Melissa. Lights off. Melissa, that's Jerry. He punches people. He's a very punchy punch man. That's Cuddles. He hits people with his big claws. That's Janet. She likes masks, and she's very good at the pinata. And Steve's down there. He likes pennies, and he's a scientist. So, let's go. Oh, and everyone, that's Melissa Watkins. She lives here, and she has very bright hair. Yeah, we're lost. We're finally free, only took five hours, yeah. So, um, I think either the mod author fixed the Janet, uh, thingy-majiggy, or... I don't know, because I do have Janet... Because Janet is from Skunkwater Gulch originally, but then I have... I made a separate mod for her. Yeah, oh, see some fight? Never mind, alright, everyone's dead. So, what you got on that list, Jack Nicholson? How you doing? Yeah? You know, the universe is five billion years old. That's very awesome, Morgan Freeman. We need to talk about your title. Let's get going. Who's the first name on the list? Who's the next lucky contestant? Um, <coughs> oh, God, Jesus. Who's the first name? Billy Trambeck. Why? Where'd your voice go? Quite possibly the worst serial killer since before the war. He's a drifter, which is why we should murder him. Maybe she isn't voice acted. Maybe that's vanilla. Maybe that's all. That's that was probably all vanilla. I am so drunk right now. Anything else I should know? He travels from one town to the next, killing as he goes. He gets off on torturing his victims. <laughs> Men, women, children. It's all the same to him. Sick bastard deserves to die. Yeah, I mean, Jesus Christ, you're fucking crazy. My name is Morgan Freeman. Melissa. It just bothers me that people like that exist. I guess I'm just losing faith in people in general and... <laughs> Motherfucker! We'll make sure that he dies a long, slow, and painful death. Kill them all. Chapter one. <gasps> Ranger Jackson might have some info on where to look. All right. To Ranger Jackson's, where I can confuse more vanilla content for mod content. Mmm. Mojave Outpost. Is this 
part of the mod? <laughs> to be completely honest, I was looking for Melissa Watkins for about 15 minutes before I realized that she was a vanilla person. Look at her. Look at look at her. You'd never remember. I'm I'm not insulting. I'm not insulting her, Steve. Look at that face. I forget that face in an instant. Melissa, it's nothing against you. It's just all these meat sacks walking around. I don't got time. You know, I make connections, Melissa, and next thing I know, your head gets blown off. I don't got time for tears. Tears for fears. You know? Tears for fears. Everyone says the Lord covers better. It's not. They're, they both equally have pros and cons. The original everyone wants to rule the world has an ironic feel to it like like uh, uh, what a wonderful world you know you always listen to that song you don't think good times you think of uh, uh, you know uh, airships blowing up in some kind of weird alternate universe with air blimps chips uh, why did we always we fucked up the air blimps fucking Hindenburg hello appreciate the help wish I had more work listen if I wanted advice for mustache caricatures I'd ask you I heard you may know the whereabouts of Billy Tram back. Just a rumor. Sick fuck's never gonna be caught. But if you wanna try, I heard that he had been sat at northeast of North Vegas. You might wanna go over there. Thanks. No problem. Hope you get him. Ooh, yeah. You get the sense that you're being followed? What? Who? You? Let's check this perk real quick. Starving, Stark Raving Mad, Intelligence minus one, AP plus 20. Oh, that's not good. You taken, you taken my brains away, Melissa. I want to call you Melissa. I could call you Watkins, but you know that doesn't sound. Apprentice Watkins. We gotta get you some fancy armor. You're basically running around in pajamas. Like, don't try to argue with me. You're running around in pajamas. Put some bananas on there and we'll have a TV show. Virtual reality. Oh my god, get out of my freaking. Go, go search virtual reality. VR. VR TV show intro. Go search that right now. Billy Trombone, you in there, Billy Trombone? Billy Trombone, I got an army out here. I got a ride roach with 15 copper pennies. We're coming in there, Billy Trombone. Give you the count of three to come out here, Billy Trombone. We won't shoot you. One. Two. Trombone. We're coming in. Three, two, one. Beach. Virtual reality. Take a fucking number and I'll be with you shortly, asshole. Uh, it's you, Trebek. This is gonna hurt, Billy. Die. Billy Trebek. <laughs> well, that was a very slow and painful death. Yo, you want some Enclave armor? Yeah, you want some Enclave armor. Don't even get... Oh. Um. Hi. Is this your husband? Because he's dead. He's dead! Tramback's intended victim. Just give me a second. I have to take his clothes. Ooh. That's what a naked man looks like. See? When a man gets naked, you can see his brains. It's very gross. Never look at naked pictures of men, because you can see their brains. All right. Good morning. Here's what I've got. It's not much, but it's what I've got. Hey, I can give you a woodcutting axe. Here's a bunch of melee weapons. I'm sure you're perfectly good at using melee. You're probably not. Oh, look at you. You've been working out? You even lift? Hey, Melissa, you even lift, bro? Yeah, you lift. Yeah? Yeah. I'm Bubbles. We need to talk about your tax. Let's go and feel better. Who's the next lucky can feel better? You're damn straight, I do. My name's Bubbles. I'm a Powerpuff girl. Let's take a break for a while. Jackson 5 will be glad to know that Billy's dead. Okay, but I'd like to get to the next name on the list soon. Virtual reality. How are you, ma'am? What do you need? What do you need? Hey, time for me to go. Later. You should run. You take that teddy bear and you run. What do you need? You want to live here? All right. I wanted to tell you you can leave or something, but whatever. 
enjoy living in this... How did he get all these papers in here? War. Congress votes war on China after Franklin's Delano request. My god. You guys know about this? Alright. What's your next lucky contestant? Someone's following us through the rabbit hole. Return to Ranger Jackson and told him that we shot someone in the face. Alright. I was gonna go look at that those hobos over there. Those hobos, they ain't got time for me. I'm contemplating if I should edit the beginning of this video where I say vanilla content is not vanilla content. Because we all know... Oh, shit. We all know. Like, I don't remember everyone in the Brotherhood. We went over this. If I remembered Melissa, she's gonna die. We all know she's gonna die. It's like... Um, it's like the Beanie Babies cartoon. It's not real. Don't look for it. It's not real. You know, in the last episode, the Beanie Babies cartoon, where they did that really like dark ending where all the Beanie Babies die. But I heard the two nails. It's like that. Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you. Oh, don't worry. I'll pit that, pit that beard, the mustache beard. It's a mustache. I'll pit that baby for you. Look. Get that caterpillar off your face, Magic Mark 11. Billy's worm food. That's a relief. By the way, a woman came in here looking for the two of you, going on about how the he was the next kill was hers. She was crying, and I was like, get out of my face. Get out of here. So I, I told her to run as fast as she could. I gave her a moped. Thanks. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to ask. Have a good one. Hey, I say have a good one. Kill them all, hey. chapter one. Wait, what? Am I supposed to talk to Melissa? Yeah, yeah. Hey, guess what? Yeah? Um. Oh. There's a lady. Shit, what did he say? Who's the next lucky contestant? Stan Weldy. Rapist and murderer. Best to put him down as soon as possible. He was last seen in Prim. We should ask around. Okay. Kill them all. Chapter two. Okay, so there are. Nelson's back in our hands. There's two parts of this, chapter one and two, so I guess, hopefully, I hope this is a little bit longer. I hope, we can it this time. I, I hope this is a little longer. I, I thought this was going to be a little bit longer, and it's going to be very short. Mod review, and I, I, I keep meaning to do Doctor Who Vegas, Who Vegas, but I have to replay the first part, and I haven't had time, because, you know, it's a lot of, it's not a lot of work, but... You know, it's a lot of patience. You gotta play through that. And then, but next week we're doing a Halloween mod. The guy who made, there's a mod, he made a Halloween mod. It's a spooky house. And we're gonna get spookified. And I gotta play that next week for that's, that's Halloween. Because if I wait two weeks, then it's November. And November's Thanksgiving. Unless you're Canadian and you say, what are you talking about? Thanksgiving was last month. And I say, hey, guess what? I'm not Canadian. I live on a moon. Happy birthday. Sweep that poop up. Sweep that poop. Sweep. Sweep that Someone poop. finally put down that sick motor runner, son of a bitch. Grandma. Grandma, don't use that language in front of the babies. Steve doesn't know. Steve, are you under the floorboards again? Oh, wait. No, they are. Morning, Grandpa. Hey there, youngster. Oh, um, my name is Morgan Freeman, and I would like to know where I can find Stan Weldy. Weldy. I could tell you something wasn't quite right with him. He was bragging about starting up a counterfeiting operation and punching children. Uh, thanks. No problem. Make him suffer. Counterfeiting is one of the worst things anyone can do. Be sure to rip his skin off while he's still alive. Jesus Christ, Grandpa. Hey. Yeah? Yeah, my name's Bubbles. Sorry, um... Okay, I don't know. I don't want to do that. I don't want to say who's next, because I feel like we're going to mess the quest up. My name's Bubbles. Bubbles McGee. Ooh. Nice. Let's chop some Colville Bay people in half. My name's Bubbles, and I like making b bubbles. I'm referring to Powerpuff Girls Bubbles and not the Bubbles from Trailer Park Boys. Just for clarification. 
Hey, where are all the ghouls at? Sometimes I, uh, I get a little tongue-tied, and sometimes I laugh, and my tongue scrunches up in my throat, and sometimes it kind of, it goes back there, and I kind of choke on it, and technically I've died three times from that, oh shit, I just realized, fuck. <laughs> 